السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن ویلکم بیک ٹو ایم ایل ایس آن لائن ورچل کلاس روم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر ان چیپٹر نمبر ون لینڈ فارمس اینڈ ان دا پریویس لیکچرز وی لرن اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ لینڈ فارمس لائک پلیٹوز ہلس ماؤنٹینس اسپرنگس ریپڈس ایکسیٹرا وی آلسو لرن اباؤٹ نیچرل ویجیٹیشن اینڈ انڈر دس ہیڈنگ وی لرن اباؤٹ ڈیزرٹس اینڈ اٹس ہیپیٹینس اینڈ کیمل ایکسیٹرا While in today's lecture, we are doing page number 8 and 9 and in this regard, we would be learning forest and its types like coniferous forest, taiga, rainforest, grassland, tropical grassland, mediterranean woodland and the lastly, we would be learning about tundra. So my dear student, let's start with the lecture formally and the first thing we are learning is forest. It is an area that is dominated by trees. A large area that is covered by trees is known as forest. Forest has different types, apparently it is divided into these three categories. The first one is coniferous forest, taiga and rainforest. In the upcoming slides, we will be analyzing each of the type of this forest in detail. The first one is coniferous forest. Now coniferous forest is basically the, is the forest on slopes of mountains and hills with coniferous and evergreen trees. The fo uh, forest which are found on mountainous areas with coniferous and evergreen trees are known as coniferous forest. Now you would be wondering what is coniferous tree. Coniferous trees are the trees which have needle like leaves. Their leaves look like needle. So those trees are known as coniferous trees and the evergreen trees are the ones which remain green throughout the year. So the trees which are green throughout the year, throughout the season are known as evergreen trees. So we learned that the forest which or the areas which are dominated by coniferous trees and evergreen trees are known as coniferous forest. And the temperature of coniferous forest are usually cold in winter and moderately warm in summer. It is colder over here in winter season while in summer it is moderately warm. It is neither too hot in summer nor too cold in summer. It is moderately warm in summer. The next type of forest which we would be learning is taiga. Now taiga is the coniferous evergreen forest in subarctic land is known as taiga. Taiga is also called a biome which was area with similar flora, fauna and microorganisms. It has vegetation that can survive the cold weather. My dear students, taiga is also kind of coniferous and evergreen forest but it is found in subarctic land. Subarctic land is the region found in northern hemisphere which is which has a colder atmosphere. Our taiga is also called a biome. Now question is what is a biome? Biome is an area with similar flora, fauna and microorganisms. Flora means plants, fauna means animals and microorganisms are small bacteria or you can say one or two cell containing organisms. So a biome is an area which contains particularly similar flora, fauna and microorganisms. That particular area is known as biome and taiga is one of the biome, is a kind of a biome. And it has vegetation that can survive the cold weather. The vegetation over here in Taiga is the one which can survive the cold weather. As I told you before that in Northern Hemisphere, in subarctic land, the weather or the climate is really cold. So the vegetation of Taiga is able to survive this harsh climate. The trees in Taiga are different like coniferous trees such as fir, spruce and pine grow well in Taigas. And another thing is that in the lowland of this uh, Taiga, we have trees like birch, willow and different other trees as well. As you can see in this picture as well that there is this is willow, this is birch, this is the tree of pine and other examples are also given. The next thing which we are going to learn is about its climate. So the climate in taiga is really cold. The cold climatic condition is in taiga and it is warm in moderately warm in summer the foothills of the himalayas and the karakuram range are taigas in asia so the uh, mountainous range of karakuram and himalayas which is present in asia the, there we can find the biome of uh, taiga as well let's move forward next we have the third type that is rainforest and the rainforest are jungles of dense vegetation that receive high annual rainfall its climate is hot and humid all the year round sometimes it is it is hot sometimes it is humid so that's how the climate of this area goes all along the year so rainforest as it's clear from its name are the forests which receive the high amount of rain rain annually so as it is clear from its name that these are the forests with the high amount of rain now let's see that which kind of 
plants or which kind of animals do live here so the wildlife of forest of rainforest is that they are rich in wildlife as they have different form of vegetation as well evergreen plants are there and whenever we talk about wild animals so keep in mind that the majority of those uh, wild animals would be found in rainforest let's move forward the next thing we are learning is grassland Grassland is an inland biome with grass field on it. It is also a kind of a kind of biome, just as we learned that the an area with particularly similar flora, fauna, and microorganism is known as a biome. So, grassland is another form of biome, and the temperature zone grassland of Euro Asia are known as steppes, and the steppes are without trees. Now, don't be confused. In the next slide, we will be learning. So, grasslands have different names on the basis of its location if it is found in europe and asia that is known as euro asia area if we found grassland over here then that would be known as steps and in steps area there are without trees there is no trees and grasslands are found in both cold and hot countries the plants which grow here are short grasses and herbs so mostly the grassland is the area covered by grass and there we can't find much trees another thing is that the plants which grow over here are short grasses and herbs herbs are smaller or you can say shorter plants students i told you before the grassland names are different on the basis of the location where they exist so if the grassland exists in europe and asia then it would be known as steps and if the same grassland is found in united states then it would be known as prairies while if the grassland is found in southern america then that would be known as pamps and if the same grassland is found in South Africa, then it would be known as savannas. So, on the basis of their location, their names are being changed or their names are being given on the basis of the location where they are found. Let's move forward. The first one, where the first one we learned in previously regarding the one which is found in Europe and Asia. The next one is prairies and their grasslands extended from the Midwest to the Rocky Mountains in the United States known as prairies. Cereal crops grow and cattle graze in prairies with little animal life. So the grassland which is found in the United States, uh, the, there we can grow crops as well. But the cattle are also able to survive there. And But the animal life is not in much amount. We can say that little animal life is able to survive over here. Let's move forward. The next one is pamps and savannas. The Southern American grassland are known as pamps, while the hot tropical grassland of Africa and South America are known as savannas. So as we learned that Africa is already a, a hot climate area, so ultimately the grassland over there would be a hot tropical grassland, while in South America it would be in a greener form. Let's move forward. So the most common animals which are found in grasslands are dog mule deer in north america giraffe and zebra found in africa and lion found in both africa and asia tropical grassland now tropical grassland are also known as savannas and found in hot and humid area as i told you before that the savannas are found in um, southern africa africa is a hot area or you can say the climate over there is hot so the tropical grasslands are found in africa and the rain followed by dry spell what happens that there is a high amount of rain but after raining uh, there is a dry spell dry spell means that for a longer period there is no rain and wild animals like giraffe elephant zebra deer are found in tropical grassland after it we have mediterranean woodland now it is an area that is found near to mediterranean sea the, the area found near to mediterranean sea would be known as mediterranean, mediterranean woodland it is hot and dry in summer and have moderate winter. If summers are harsh, we have hot and dry summers. But in winter, it is normal. It has a moderate temperature. But the most important thing is the area over here is fertile. We can accept a lot of greenery over here. And Mediterranean woodlands are mostly found in Italy, Morocco, Algeria and Libya. Next, we have polar regions. Now, north and south poles are known as polar regions as my dear students we know that uh, an axis line is an imaginary line that passes across uh, vertically across the center of our earth so the northern pole of that line and southern pole of that line is known as polar region you can say that the top and the below of our earth sphere is known as uh, are known as polar regions they are cool windy and icy weather throughout the year there is cold wind and ice throughout the year and we see the animals which are found over here are polar bear, 
seals and penguins as you can see that this is an area which is almost uh, cold throughout the year as you can see from the glaciers and from the ice present over here the next one which we have tundra tundra is basically tree less plains of arctic region are tundras tree less plains means the areas which do not have any trees so tree less plains of arctic region are known as tundras and little vegetation of moss and helps due to low temperature as we came to know about the sub arctic region are found near poles and the polar areas are really cold throughout the year so ultimately there would be lesser vegetation due to low temperature my dear students we all have studied in science that plants to grow need sunlight sunlight means they need a certain temperature so the areas with colder climate do not have the capacity to grow or cult uh, to grow or have natural vegetation so ultimately there is little vegetation in tundra and the climate over here here is really cold and windy so the people living in tundra were previously known as eskimos and now they are known as inuits and yipkis and yipiks and they live in igloos houses made with ice block now this is an igloo house which is made with the blocks which are formed from ice and they live in this such types of houses so that was it my dear students now you have to read the description of above learned landforms and natural vegetation from page number 8 and 9 and thus our uh, content or you can say pages of this chapters are covered in the upcoming lectures we would be doing book work and question answers and if you have any query my dear students you can ask in the chat box down below